Hi and welcome to Dust. Today we'll be going back to the basics and learn how to prompt. Basically, the first thing you want to understand is what assistants can and can't do. Assistants are a set of instructions attached to your data. And that runs through large language models. And so they're limited by the capabilities of these models. Okay, so what can they do well? They can really well process text and follow instructions. They can also analyze patterns and perform some sort of reasoning. And they can generate great answers using your context. But they can't do a certain number of things. They can't have real understanding and feelings. They're not humans. They can't access real-time information. They can't learn from your past conversations unless you add them into your dust data. They can't really verify facts with 100% reliability. And they can't interact with the physical world because you're on your computer. Okay, so now that we know this, we're going to talk about a few prompt tips. There are basically five ingredients in a good prompt. You need to give a persona, an objective, specify the audience, define some size of restrictions if necessary, and format the result if you want to. So here you can see two examples of prompts, and for each one, a good version and a bad version. If you look at the toddler one, it pretty much looks like a Google search. That should be typed in Google and not in an LLM. For an LLM, you want to define a role, so you're an early childhood education specialist. Define the objective, suggest activities for brain development for a young child. Specify the audience, who you are, write it for someone who is new to childcare. And the last two are optional, but you can ask for a specific style and some formatting. Okay, but what if I want to do something a little bit more complex than what we just saw? Well, in that case, we still advise to keep the same format. Give a role, give some instructions, and talk about objectives. The prompts can become pretty long because you'll need to structure them. And the main thing is to make it understandable by the model as much as possible. You'll see that playing with assistants will need a test and learn approach, which means that likely at the beginning, the answers won't be as good as you expect. And by changing a few of the instructions, you'll get to what you want. For example, you'll likely need to add some of the best practices, which are to tell your assistant not to invent anything because LLMs tend to want to answer you at all costs. So they might just invent stuff. Also, one last thing is not to try to ask them for links. LLMs are bad at giving out links. That's why Dust gives footnotes of the documents that we pulled the information from. But that's us doing it, not the model. So trust the footnotes and don't ask the LLM to add the links directly in the answer. All right, that's it for the prompt. I'll let you play around. See ya.